need is me and I do just what I like If I want it, I can get it and I put that on ice Why she acting different, try to throw it to the side She used to be so funny, now she Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm back again with another video. My name is Desiree, if you didn't already know. And right now, I'm about to show y'all the orange canvas bag um, from the Marc Jacobs tote bag collection and the teddy bag. And I just want to have a real quick conversation with y'all because I'm a little bit confused about the sizing. Um, the orange one that I got says mini. I got it off of Farfetch, though. Also, give me your opinions on Farfetch. What are your experiences? Because this is my first experience. Um... And so I was expecting the size of the bag to be different. I don't know why, because on the Marc Jacobs site, I don't even think they have a mini. I think they have a small, medium, large, and then a micro. Correct me if I'm wrong, okay? Um, But yeah, and the orange one is labeled as a mini, but the teddy one is labeled as a small. And I got that off the Marc Jacobs site. So of course, I'm going to believe like the Marc Jacobs site, but it just kind of confused me a little bit in terms of ordering. Because I ordered a small bag and my mom ended up getting a medium. So it, the medium was the size of my medium monogram denim bag. Um, or the small was the size of my medium monogram denim bag. I hope that makes sense. So it just confused me a little bit. And I mean, I have the receipt from Farfetch. Um, definitely says the orange one that I'm about to show you guys is a mini. But I'm pretty sure it's a small because it's the same size as that teddy. And that teddy is labeled as a small. That's the point I've been trying to get to. I hope I got to it. Um, but I'm gonna just go ahead and show them to y'all. So y'all can see what I'm talking about. First bag, I'm gonna show y'all is the Farfetch one. And it came in like this whatever dust bag. And from what I've noticed normally, um, Mark Jacobs don't even be putting their bags in dust bags. The denim ones come with a dust bag, but not like this. Like it comes with like an official tie dust bag. Like the monogram bag had a monogram dust bag. Um, so this is the one I got off Farfetch. And I'm pretty sure it's real. Again, let me know what y'all opinions are on Farfetch. Um, but this is the orange one. I wanted an orange bag so freaking bad. Um, even though I think I got rid of my orange Telfar. And I think I have an orange um, ESR tote from Brandon Blackwood's collection. But it's just too small. This is the perfect size. I love the denim one that I have. And hold on. I think it's in the closet. Give me a second, y'all. Side by side. I've worn this bag in. This is my baby. Still, I mean, this part's a little jacked up. Still in good condition. That's all I can say about it. The denim bags are really good quality. And these are. this is my first canvas one. So I'm interested to see, like, how, you know, it wears itself. Of course, it's an orange bag, so I won't even be wearing it as much. But just to get into the details, I hate how the Marc Jacobs bags come, like, smushed. Like, and when you get them from Marc Jacobs, they come smushed, too. If you go watch my denim bag um one on the one that i just showed you my video you'll see it came like literally like flattened but here's the back of it you got the little tag thing the zipper is black and this is black um the um handle and i don't really know how i feel about that i kind of wish it was the same color but maybe that's just me let me know what y'all think um but yeah this is the bag i got off farfetch and it does come with the mark jacobs tag on it so i'm pretty sure it's real like almost 100% positive. It's just not from the Marc Jacobs site. Um, and Farfetch, the prices are the same. It's not like it's some crazy discount that makes it unbelievable. No, like the prices are literally set. They don't change at all. But yeah, let me know what y'all think about this beauty. I can't get rid of her, but the teddy one might have to go back. And you guys might have already peeped it in the back, but I'm about to show it to y'all. And as you can see, I think I've showed a Marc Jacobs box before on my channel. It's like yellow and it's got, it opens up real big like this. And yeah, so that's how the box came. Like that's actually the box it was shipped in. Um, it did come wrapped in this paper. I took it out because I just wanted to look at it. I love this bag, but it's kind of pricey. I I remember spending a lot of money on it. I don't remember how much it was. I want to say it was like $295, $300. I'm going to put it right here. But I just know it was more expensive than the other ones. And that's the only reason why I might not be keeping it. But I have like two days to decide because I'm already in the 30-day return window. Yeah, I'm slacking on these videos, y'all. Um, I have this baby sitting in my closet. But here she is. Again, it kind of looks brown. 
I don't know if I'm tripping. It looked brown online. Y'all let me know. I'm even put the picture right here so y'all can see why I thought it looked brown. But again, I'm, I might be tripping. So let me know what y'all think about that because it definitely is labeled as the color gray. And I see it gray right here. But then I flip it and bring it back. For some reason, it just looks brown. It's like a brownish gray, if we're being honest. You got the tag. And of course, it looked just like the tag. It's covered in paper. But it looks just like the tag from the bag that I got from Farfetch. That's why I'm like, it's probably real. But then again, I don't have the canvas bag already. So I don't have one from the Marc Jacobs site to compare it to. So y'all let me know what y'all opinions are based on what y'all saw. It comes wrapped in this paper. On the inside, you got, um, I think there's a pocket here. Maybe not. Doesn't look like we have a zipper pocket. Um, but you got the strap and everything. Oh, this one's, yeah. See, the Teddy one comes with a dust bag too. But those, I don't think the canvas ones do. And this is, I think, a monogram dust bag. Dang, this is making it really hard for me to want to send this back. Um, but I'm trying to figure out if... There is a zip, and I snapped it, whatever. Let me just take all this stuff out. I was trying to figure out if there's a zipper pocket, but it doesn't look like there is. So that's kind of a downfall, I guess. Um, I don't see a zipper in it, and I think the denim one has a zipper in the small one. Let me check. Oh, maybe it doesn't. Okay, so small ones, no zipper. Medium ones, zipper. Okay, hold on, let me check this, let me check this. <laughs> yeah, there isn't an extra zipper pocket in the small ones, which it's crazy because I feel like you could put that in this. Honestly, hold on, let me compare the sizing. This is the same size bag. This just looks a little bigger, I think, because it's well more structured for one, but two, it's fluffy. This is the same size bag, and they were labeled as like a different size, so... I don't know. Again, y'all let me know what y'all think. Also, let me know what y'all think of the bags. I love it, love it, love it. <laughs> um, and boom. Hold on. I'm trying to like... Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got to see some bags that you might like and want to purchase on your own. Um, and yeah that's really all i have for y'all for this video um follow me on instagram follow me on twitter follow me on ig follow me all of the above at disaster y'all know what's up um and that's that's it that's it thank y'all so much for watching i love you guys and i will see y'all next time peace out